Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So I know I always talk about making this video, but I'm a procrastinator. So I've been procrastinating, procrastinating, but I today, today I was like, I have to make it because it's just too damn hot. Let me talk to y'all about surgery and the damn summer. Oh my God. All right. If I would have known everything that I know now, I wouldn't have got no damn surgery in the summer. But me, I was beastly. So I had my daughter June last year. So when I put in my, I, I booked my, um, my surgery. Listen, listen. So I booked my surgery when she was two months old, right? So it was, um, it was August or whatever. I booked my appointment. They told me I had to wait a year. She turned one June 4th. So June 9th, I was out. You know what I mean? So I booked it for June 9th. If I would have known, I would have had to go through this. I would have waited till damn near fucking November, okay? So the thing is, it's just too damn hot for this Faha. It's just too damn hot. Like, so, and don't get me wrong, I'm Faha life. Like, Faha for life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I wear my Faha. I got my Faha on right now. Y'all don't believe me. Faha stay on. It does not come off. But it's just still too damn hot. And especially if you get an extra area light bulb, like your arms, your thighs. That's just extra hotness. So I got my thighs light bulb as well. So yesterday, I wore like the, I, I still compress my thighs. I'm two and a half months post off. So I still compress my thighs every once in a while, whatever. Um, So I wore like the, the knee length um, Baja or whatever to work. And it, although I got an air conditioner here and an air conditioner in my house and an air conditioner in my damn own um, my car, it's still too damn hot. Like you still get hot, you gotta go outside. So it's just, I don't even want to do nothing. And this is the bad part because I had a one year old daughter and I know she wanted to go to the park. I took out the ice cream, I was dying. Like, all right, so look, I'm like, cause I'm just like, I should have been made this day. But every day it get hotter and hotter and I get frustrated and more frustrated. So I wore my damn faha and already it's painted on cause I, I get my mind just fitted. Like, do you see like, what, what waist is going on here? Look like, it, it ain't no waist. I left, the, I left my waist on my dress, okay? But it's already painted on, the shit was melted. Like when I tell you it was, it was melted, it was a part of me yesterday. Like, and I was like, I can't do this. It's so damn hot. So, and then I took my daughter for some ice cream. And I'm saying, I'm trying to, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to keep my daughter cooped up in the house because it's cool for me, but I know she want to go outside. You know what I'm saying? This is her, like she was a corona baby. Corona baby is still here or whatever, but we really couldn't do nothing. Um, last year, so I want to like get her out, whatever. So I just take her to the um ice cream shop, we eat the ice cream together on by the car or whatever. But it's so damn, it's the end of August, it's so damn hot. It's like 90, I think yesterday it was like 91 degrees. I, I ain't kidding y'all, it was like it had to be like 117. I'm telling you, I had to be 117. It's no way. I, I just put my wig on last night, but if I had this wig on, it would have slid to the left so bad. I'm trying to tell it's so hot. I live in Jersey. And we get in this heat wave, like it's so terrible. So I try to let go of my daughter, but I see like surgery in the summer is not it. It is not it. The faha, and then I even try to do myself a favor. I got my tributo faha. If you don't have a tributo faha, go get you one because I love it. It's the best faha that I have, and I have like four or five these things, different ones. But this is like the best one. I wear this one majority of the time. I got my faha, whatever. I got it shorts. I got it like strapped in so I can still wear like shirt, like you know my little dresses and whatnot. Still hot. It's still too damn hot. If you get in surgery, if you considering getting surgery in the summer, please rethink it. Please rethink it. Please rethink it. There's no beach. I, like I'm going. I went to the beach and um, I have my little bathing suit on. Didn't go in the water, of course, but. Um, I swelled up, so I had to put my faha back on. It's like, you're so limited with this. I am planning my round two, but my round two is in September next year. And I'm like, by the time I get surgery, the cool air will be kicking in. That way I could be wearing my little sweats, my little hoodies and stuff like that. It'd be like October, November, whatever. So the surgery in the summer is just too damn hot. And us as females, me as a female, I don't like being hot. I hate being hot. It's, it's just... You know what I'm saying? Oh, and let me tell y'all. So I'm just having like this is not my summer in my apartment right now because my central ear keeps going out. So it could be 91 degrees outside and it's like 88 in my house, and that makes it more hot. So I've been real frustrated. And I'm like, it's just too damn hot with this fire. I'll take a cold shower, but I'm back in my fire, and I'm like, it's too fucking hot. I'm not gonna hold.
told y'all last night, I went to sleep without no Faja, just my towel, because I just couldn't, like, it's just too damn hot. Surgery in the summer is not okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know we get beast and like me, I was like, they said, they said one year, I waited exactly one year, and I was the fuck out. But it's too damn hot. The massage is over that stuff, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just so hot. And then, like, I want to go to the beach. I want to be laying and chilling. And, no. Mm -mm. Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. I be trying my best. I bring my pillow everywhere I go. Still, I, I'm like, I'm sitting on my butt kind of or whatever. But, and I be trying to be outside. But the amount of clothes I got to wear to cover up my own, my body or whatever. Even if, like, this is like, I got like, this is a little short dress, whatever. I'm still hot in this. It's because this shit underneath, too hot. Like, I don't, it's the material. So, they need to make something more breathable. See, I got my hot hot from Tribulo or whatever. And I even got like the rods put in and this extra compression or whatever. So man, when I tell you, when I when I tell you I'm compressed, I'm compressed. But the more I can, but you know what I'm saying? But Faha is like, I'm not taking off my Faha. I don't give a fuck if it's 200 degrees outside. I just can't take it out and be outside. In my house, it's fine for a few hours. I go sleep, whatever. But outside, I'm not. I'm, I'm never outside without my Faha. Unless it's like a night out. I went. I, it was like one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to add a picture or whatever. But I went out one night without my faha, didn't like it, so I'm never doing it again or whatever. When I went to the beach without my faha, I just went to go take my pictures because I was promoting with somebody bathing suit. And I just put my shit back on because I felt myself swelling. But out all night, I all day with no faha, no. But it's too damn hot for this thing. Like, it's too damn hot. And not like, you know what I'm saying? Especially like, like me, I have a kid. So if you have a kid, like you make their summer limited and then like, or you have a family, I want to do something, everything is so limited because you just want to be so cranky and so damn hot. Like, so, and then it's, if you get, when I sweat, then the, the sweat is all over my forehead. Now I'm itching, people think I'm like, I got sun or whatever and I'm just, I'm just toe up. Like this is a bad summer. If I knew this, I wouldn't have done it. Like, see, now I'm about to start itching and shit because I, I done spoke it up. But yesterday, oh my God, yesterday my bag, I was using my comb to scratch my damn bag. It's just, you get so, and then when you take it off, the back. like, this shit, this shit is like, a, oh, um, fuck a faha. This shit is like a fucking, like, sweat band now. It's just, it's just a shade on my waist away, and I love it, but it's so hot. Please, when you fuck Listen, if you think, oh, by the way, y'all, I did my hair myself, and I'm so proud of myself because I just took this wig and store class. At my shop, I'm trying to do everything. I'm trying to sell hair, make wigs, install wigs. I do eyelashes. I do eyebrow micro shading, micro bleeding. Listen, I'm trying to do everything. I just took a makeup class, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to slick my makeup tomorrow and see if I need some practice, but I'm trying to do everything for y'all. If y'all get a surgery in the summer, please do consider that shit. It's too damn hot. I'll see y'all later. I gotta go.